Direct Billing A direct bill account can be used for the companies that would like to be billed for guests that stay at the property. First, adding a new direct bill account. To configure a new account, go to Tools Configure, and once that's come up, select Direct Billing, and then Accounts. Click the Add button in the bottom left corner to insert a new account name. Fill out the company information and contact person. Make sure the active checkbox in the top right corner is checked. Notes added on this screen will only appear here in Configure, not on invoices or reports. They're completely private to the property. In the Account Rules section here, the Include All Lodging checkbox must be checked to ensure that lodging charges are automatically assigned to the specified direct bill. In the Included Account Codes, you can enter either Point of Sale Account Codes previously configured in the Rates and Fees section in Configure, and then assign to the item categories of the point of sale section to be automatically billed out to the selected account when added to an invoice. This is up, the, up to the direct bill company to make that decision. Next, assigning a reservation to a direct bill account. To assign a reservation to a direct bill account, open the Edit Daily Reservation screen and select Direct from the toolbar. You can see it here in the middle. This will display the selected direct bill account screen. Use the drop down menu to select the desired account or type in the account name and then select OK. The selected direct bill account will now display in the invoice details section of the Edit Daily Reservation screen here in the bottom left corner. The room charges here will show under the build out line instead of the remaining balance line. Note the payment screen will not allow a payment on the reservation once it's been direct billed. Use the direct bill payment here on the main grid to record payments received for an account. Assigning point of sale items to a direct bill account. When a reservation is first assigned to a direct bill account, only the room charges and the associated taxes are direct billed automatically, unless the appropriate account code has been added to the account in the included account code section of the direct billing tab within the configuration menu. Later, any individual item or charge can be added or removed from a direct bill by using the Edit Invoice button at the top of the Edit Daily Reservation screen. Click on the invoice item you'd like to be added or removed from the direct bill. From the Bill To drop down menu, select Direct if you'd like to add the point of sale item to another or another charge to the direct bill. Select guest if you want to take the item off the direct bill and bill it to the guest. You'll see in the bill to column at the top of the screen that it updates. You'll also see that the direct bill subtotal versus the amount due in the bottom right corner also updates. Direct bill invoice. To print an account invoice to send with individual invoices, go to Tools and then Reports. Select the Management tab, the City Ledger section, and then Account Statement. And then choose the desired account after you've clicked Preview. The Account Statement will display all outstanding invoices. If you bill your accounts periodically, meaning weekly, monthly, etc., use the account statement by date 
to only include the reservations relevant to the desired period. Note, direct build reservations will not show up on the invoice until the date of departure after a close of business has occurred. To record payments or refunds on a direct build account, from the main grid, select Direct Bill Payment. Choose an account from the drop down menu and click OK. The direct bill payment form will then appear. At the top of the screen, you can see different options. To select a different direct bill account, which allows you to switch between accounts without exiting the windows. Select all invoices, which highlights all the unpaid invoices on the list. Unselect all invoices. Show all payments which takes you to the screen where you can see the recorded payments and recorded refunds if needed. Show invoices with balance, which is the default view that comes up when you open the screen. This will display any invoices that still have an outstanding balance associated with them. And finally, overpayments, which allows you to view and apply the extra amounts to the unpaid balances. Let's look at some of these views in more detail. First, Show Invoices with Balance View. The Show Invoice with Balance View shows all reservations with outstanding balances assigned to the account, including for the guests who haven't arrived yet. To apply a payment to an invoice, click on the box to the left of an unpaid balance. Press and hold the Control key on your keyboard and click multiple boxes if you'd like to apply a, a payment to multiple unpaid balances. Once you've selected the invoices you wish to record a payment against, you may enter the payment information in the payment area or use an overpayment. Select the desired payment method here and click Add Payment or Check Number. This is required and must be unique for each payment. And then the applicable payment amount in the third box. Click OK or Apply to continue. The paid off amount will update both on the selected invoice lines on the grid and in the bottom right corner under the account balance seen here. You can see that this payment created an overpayment. Any overpayments will be displayed in the overpayment drop down when selected. You can see it here. Overpayments are created when a larger amount is applied to an invoice than is owed on it or when a paid off direct reservation gets cancelled, taken off the direct bill, or a rate adjustment on it has been done to reduce the charges below the amount paid. To apply an overpayment to an invoice, click on, click on the box to the left of the invoice line on the grid like we did before. Once you've selected the invoice that you wish to make a payment against, click the Use Selected checkbox in the Overpayment section of the page and click the box to the left of the overpayment you, you wish to apply. You will see the payment information below populated in the information from the overpayment. Do not change any of this information. Simply click apply at this point. If the overpayment was greater than the amount of the invoice you're trying to pay off, the appropriate amount will be applied and the remainder will stay in the overpayments. Once the entire overpayment has been applied to a balance, it will disappear from the overpayments grid. Note, you can only apply one overpayment at a time, but you can pay off several invoices with one overpayment. 
You cannot refund an overpayment directly. It first needs to be applied to an invoice and then ref be refunded from the show all payment view. Ignore the note section as it's not functional at this time. Show all payments view up here. The show all payments view shows all payments that have been recorded on the account. This view also shows you to record refunds when necessary. To refund a payment, select the invoice line by clicking on the box to the left of it. You'll see the payment method and the payment check number populated in the pertinent information here. Again, do not change that information. In the payment amount field, enter the amount you desire to refund. Please note that it cannot exceed the amount that was applied to the invoice, like this situation. It can, however, be smaller than the amount. There's no need to add a negative sign before the amount. This will be added automatically. Click Apply, and you'll see the applying amount on the right side of the selected invoice. Here. If this is correct, click OK. The refund will be recorded and the invoice will reappear in the Show Invoices with Balances view here with an invoice with an outstanding balance. To close the Direct Bill Payment form, click Close in the bottom right corner here. 